हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल दैट विल हेल्प मी अलॉट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सेज दैट डिटरमिन द रिएक्शंस एट द सपोर्ट्स नाउ वी हैव दिस बीम ए बी एंड इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड हैविंग द इंटेंसिटी एट पॉइंट ए इक्वल्स टू नाइन हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर मीटर एंड द इंटेंसिटी फॉर थ्री मीटर्स फॉर हाफ ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ द बीम इज सिक्स हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर मीटर so we have to find the reaction support so at a we will have the roller support and that must be acting in the upward direction so here we will have a let's say this is a and at b we have the pin joint so we will have two reactions so we will have uh, b x and we will have b y reaction and we are required to find this a b x and b y now as we can see that this beam is subjected to a distributed load and that distributed load can be further divided into two loadings so we can consider this triangular load distribution this is let's say the resultant of this rectangular load distribution is let's say represented by r1 and this triangular uh, load distribution resultant is let's say represented by r2 so we have two areas right so the rectangular area distribution resultant is let's say r1 and this will be equal to the area of this triangular load distribution uh, the tri uh, sorry this rectangular loading the area of this rectangular loading so now the area of this rectangle will be 600 newton per meter into 6 so 600 Newton per meter multiplied by six uh, meters, so that will be thirty-six hundred newton. Meter will cancel out. So now the resultant of this rectangular load distribution is equal to thirty-six hundred newton, and this R one resultant will pass through the centroid of this rectangular area. The centroid of this rectangular area will be at its mid length. this is 6 so it will be acting at 3 meters from this point b or from this point a so now let me represent that resultant that resultant r1 will be acting somewhere here and its magnitude is 3600 newton and it is at a distance of 3 meters from this point b and it is at a distance of 3 meters from point a then we are left with this triangular load distribution so the area of this triangle is will give us the resultant r2 so r2 is the resultant of this uh triangular load distribution which is equal to half base now the base of this triangle is 3 so 3 into the height of this triangle so the height of this triangle is this is the height so this height is 900 minus 600 so this is 300 so 900 minus 600 so the height is 300 so this is 300 so this will be 300 into 3 is 900 900 divided by 2 is 450 newton so this is r2 now this r2 which is the resultant of that triangular load distribution this r2 will pass through the centroid of this triangular load distribution so that r2 will be will be acting somewhere here let's say this is r2 and the distance of r2 from this edge of the triangle is always equal to 1 divided by 3 times the base so the base is 3 so 3 will cancel out so this r2 resultant is going to act at a distance of 1 meters from this edge so now let me show that the here we will have that let's see r2 resultant and this must be acting at a distance of 1 meters this 1 meter is 1/3 of the base 1/3 of the base of the triangle so now let me show that r1 and r2 so that r2 is going to act somewhere here let's say this is r2 r2 magnitude is 450 this is the resultant of that tri uh, rectangle triangular load distribution and at the mid length we will have r1 
or one is 3600 newton so this r2 is at a distance of one third of the base of the triangle so one third and the base is three meters of this triangle so one third into three will give us one so this is one meter and this r1 is at a distance of three meters uh, or we can say that if, if from this end this is three meters then from r2 this is two meters so let me show that this is at a distance of two meters and from this end this is at a distance of three meters so now this is here we have that point a and here we have that point b now we are asked to find the reactions a b x and b y so now let's say if i since the beam is in equilibrium we can apply the summation of moment about point b that must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now as we can see that this a support reaction is going to produce the clockwise moment so we will write minus a and the moment arm of this a from that point b is the length of the beam which is six meters the total length of the beam is six meters so this is minus a into six so we can say that this is minus six a this r2 is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus the magnitude of r2 is 450 and the moment arm of this r2 from that point b is 3 plus 2 this is 5 meters so i will multiply this with 5 similarly this r1 is producing the counterclockwise moment this is 3600 so we will write plus 3600 and the moment arm of this 3600 from that point b is 3 meters so we will multiply this with 3 and this is equal to 0. Now from this we can say that minus 6a is equal to minus 450 into 5 minus 3600 into 3. And if we divide both sides of equation by minus 6, so that will give us a the support reaction at the roller. So this is minus minus 450 into 5 minus 3600 into 3 divided by minus 6 this gives us a the support reaction at the roller support is equal to 2175 newton similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero this is our positive x direction so we have only bx which is acting in the negative x so we will write that this is uh, minus bx this is equal to zero or we can say that bx is equal to zero similarly we can apply the summation of forces along y that must be equal to zero the upward direction is the positive y direction so now we have this by this is acting in the upward direction so i will write by then we have this a this a is acting in the upward direction this is 2175 this is plus 2175 and this r1 is acting in the negative y direction so this is minus 450 and this r1 is acting in the negative y so this is minus 3600 so this is equal to zero now from this we can say that by is equal to 3600 minus 2175 plus 450 so this is 3600 minus 2175 plus 450 this gives me by equals to 1875 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem the the support reaction at a is 2175 newtons and we can say that this is 2.17 kilonewton and the support reaction at b in the x direction that is in the horizontal direction is zero and in the y direction is 1875 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions related to hebla statics